Midjourney just launched a video tool that takes a single image and turns it into a smooth animated clip in seconds. It doesn't just move pixels around, it gives you stylized motion, real visual flow, and surprisingly high quality video. If you've ever wished your AI art could come to life without touching a video editor, this changes everything. In the next few minutes, I'll show you how to use Midjourney's video feature, including how to get the best quality, how to extend clips beyond five seconds, and how to use your own images. By the end, you'll be making motion art like it's second nature. Step one, access Midjourney video. If you already use Midjourney, good news. The video feature is included in your subscription. You don't need a new app or anything special. Whether you're on the basic, pro, or mega plan, you're good to go. Just open Midjourney in your browser or through Discord and head to your gallery. Choose any image you've made before or upload one from your computer. You'll see four new buttons at the bottom right corner of the image. These are your animation tools, clearly labeled and ready to go. Step two, choose an animation mode. Each button represents a different way to animate. Midjourney gives you two animation modes, auto and manual. Auto is the quick and easy one. It uses your original image prompt or whatever Midjourney decides is most natural and applies motion to match. You don't need to type anything. Click it, wait a few seconds, and just like that, your image moves. It's a good starting point if you just want to see what happens or need fast results. Manual mode is for when you want more control. When you click a manual option, a text box pops up asking for a new motion prompt. This lets you tell the animation what to do. You might say something like, camera zooms in slowly, it listens, it follows directions. Sometimes it surprises you in a good way. This is where the tool really opens up creative control. For both auto and manual, you can pick between low motion and high motion. These names are exactly what they sound like. Low motion is more stable and calm. It's great when you want a slow pan, a gentle tilt, or slight character movement. It looks professional and polished. High motion turns everything up. The camera moves faster, objects shift more, and the animation feels more energetic. It's perfect when you want bold effects or something more dynamic. It can also get a little messy, so if you're using high motion, double check if the results look how you expected. Step three, generate and download in full quality. When you hit one of the animation buttons, Midjourney creates four five-second videos. It renders them in fast mode, so you get a quick preview. These previews come in 480 pixels by default, which is fine for checking how things look, but not ideal for posting or sharing. If you want crisp results, go to the download options and click Download Video for Social Media. That version gives you a full 1080 pixels file that's ready for platforms like YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok. Now, this is important. There's another download button that says Download Raw Video. You might think raw means higher quality, but it doesn't. That version is lower resolution and mainly used for technical debugging. If you want your work to look its best, always go with the social media download. It's the highest resolution Midjourney offers right now. Step four, extend your animation. Let's say your animation looks good, but you want it to be longer. That's where the extend feature comes in. After your video is created, there's an option to extend the clip by about four more seconds. You can do this up to four times, giving you a total runtime of 21 seconds. That's more than enough for a product loop, short video post, or music snippet. You can keep using the same motion prompt, or you can change it at each stage. Low or high motion still applies, so you can mix them up across different extensions for more interesting effects. The first five seconds are usually smooth, once you go past 13 or 17 seconds, 
things can get weirder in a good way. Backgrounds evolve, characters might shift slightly, and the animation becomes more abstract. Some users have turned these longer loops into hypnotic visuals for music, meditation, or abstract storytelling. If you've got time, experiment with that range. Step five, organize projects in mid-journey. When you're working on multiple animations, things can get messy fast. Mid-Journey helps you stay organized with favorites and folders. Under every video or image, there's a heart icon. Click it to save the result to your favorites list. Then head to your Mid-Journey library on the web and start creating folders. You can make regular folders for manual sorting or set up saved searches that auto-sort based on prompt keywords or motion settings. If you're working on a campaign, series, or just building a big portfolio, folders save time and frustration. Step six, upload your own image. Another huge feature is the ability to upload your own images. You're not limited to what you've made in Midjourney. You can drag any image into the animate area and use it as the base for a video. This works especially well if you've edited an image in Photoshop or generated it elsewhere, but want to bring it to life. Once your image is uploaded, you get the same choices, auto or manual, low or high motion. For the best results, use manual and write a prompt that describes what the subject should do. If your image has a clear subject, like a person, animal, or character, Midjourney usually tracks it well. Motion feels more connected to the original image. If you're on the pro plan, you can also turn on stealth mode. This keeps your uploads and outputs private so they won't appear in the public feed. This is useful if you're working on client material or surprise launches. Step seven, explore aesthetic styles. There's also a sweet spot when it comes to style. Midjourney's video tool really shines with stylized visuals. Think cartoon art, pixel designs, anime, oil painting, or anything surreal. These styles animate more smoothly because they don't rely on pixel-perfect realism. The motion feels creative, not awkward. If you've been using Midjourney to generate flat scenes with bold colors or wild compositions, those now become looping living art pieces. This also works in abstract mode if you animate an image and then extend it without giving new prompts, Midjourney starts adding its own motion logic. Shapes stretch and shift naturally. Colors drift across the frame. It feels like a dream sequence or a visualizer without you needing to direct it. Artists and musicians are already using this for background loops, stage visuals, or even NFTs. No extra editing software. Just press extend and let it evolve. One quick tip that helps a lot. When you're using manual mode, be specific. Camera moves right works better than camera moves. Words like tilt, zoom, rotate, pan, spin, slow, fast. They all influence the final result. If it doesn't work the first time, tweak the words slightly and try again. You're not writing film scripts here, just short direct cues. Think of it like giving simple stage directions to an AI actor who really wants to please you but doesn't always read between the lines. If you've been making AI art for a while, this feature gives you a whole new way to showcase your work. If you're new to it, you'll pick it up fast. It's way more intuitive than full video software and way faster than trying to keyframe something by hand. So you access Midjourney's new video tool from any image, new or old. You pick auto for quick results or manual for custom motion. You select low or high motion depending on the effect you want. You generate four preview clips, then export the best one in 1080 pixels using the download for social media option. You can extend each video by four seconds up to 21 seconds total. You can upload your own images and use the same features, and you can organize everything using hearts and folders. Head over to your Midjourney gallery, click Animate, and give it a try.
What do you think about Midjourney's video tool? Let me know below and don't forget to like and comment for future videos.